So as the time of me making this video, it's currently 8 a.m. in the morning and I just got out of bed to create this video. And um, what I want to talk about in this video is basically for new content creators and people that um, just want to start taking their content creation game seriously. Now, at about 2021, I created my social media handles and I also created my YouTube channel, my Instagram channel, sorry, my Instagram accounts. And um, basically these two, because I was on I was on Facebook for a while ago. And then I started posting out content, basically on graphic design. So I started teaching graphic design on YouTube at about um, around this time, 2021 or 2020, thereabouts. And... Um, I've been creating content ever since. Even as I've not been the most consistent person here. And um, yeah, basically here, um, creating content is, is something that you don't really need to think much about to do. Now, I see many of us uh, think a lot about creating our content. We think a lot about uh, what we want to push out to people. We... We, we have to, um, personally, I had to overthink and overthink about whether I'm getting the perfect lighting, whether I'm getting the perfect camera, or I'm using the best of the microphones and the best of everything. But in your content creation journey, you should just start. Yeah, starting out means that you should start from where you are. I started graphic design with my phone. I was using PJ Lab then, and um, it, I thank God for that experience. I thank God for how everything went. But then I started with my phone and then I I I was using I was not using one of the best phones. Sincerely, I was not using one of the best phones. I was just using my phone and I was with Pixel Lab and then I was um creating my content. Or I was creating my designs with Pixel Lab. Now I am a self-taught designer. I used um, YouTube to learn. And especially when, uh, by the time I started to learn design, many people were not really using um, PGL Lab to do their designs. You get many people were not using PGL Lab. About that time, I started doing my designs on PGL Lab. So many people were just um, using their PC. Yeah, PGL Lab was not so popular. It was mainly Canva and then some PC softwares that people were using. So I I came across the software or the app. The application pixel lab and i started using it even though i deleted and brought it back deleted because i was not getting the hang of it but little by little i started to understand how the app works and i got everything so i i started to push out my content every design i did i i made sure i posted it online because i wanted people to see what i can do you understand i wanted people to, to see that i can do this stuff now the problem with many designers like myself and many people starting out content is that they they don't want to post out their content they don't want they feel that what they design or what they do is not good enough yes they feel that is not good enough they feel that they've not gotten the perfect background they've not gotten the perfect font so they just design and then they keep it in their archives same with content creation many people just create content and then they just keep it in their archive. They don't repost. They don't post them. They feel that it's not perfect. They, they feel that it's not um, good enough. So uh, this is your sign. Yes, this is your sign to post that content today. This is your sign to post that design today. This is also your sign to post that newsletter, to post anything that you've had in your archive, any idea that you've had. Any video you've had, any design you've had, this is your time to post it. This is your sign to post it. Yeah, because it's only the it's only the content that makes it to social media that can go viral. The content in your folder, the content in your PC is not going to go viral because you are the only one seeing it. Those ideas in your head, they're not going to come out if you don't create a video, if you don't create a design on it. Because you are the only one that can see it. You are the only one that has that vision in your head. Do you understand? So, as... A little creator, a little content creator, or you're starting out, or you you want to obscure your content creation, this is your sign to do that. Don't you don't have to think too much about it. When when I started, or when okay, I've been contemplating about um creating like 
branded YouTube channel, showing my face and everything. Then I was skeptical because I was like, what if I'm not getting the perfect background? What if I'm not getting the perfect everything? You understand? But then I went to YouTube and I saw people creating even worse, more design. Not no shades to any creator, but I was seeing a lot of like poor quality content, doing a lot more than my own content. Like even as okay, I may have the followers and everything, but the views and everything. Like I'm seeing people that they just come out, they just show their face with their camera, with their phone camera, and what they are creating is is is, is it's not the perfect it's not the most perfect of videos but they just create them they just put it out there and they are amassing a lot of views and they are amassing a lot of viewers you get on their platform and it made me to think it's am i doing anything wrong am i am i am i less than them so it made me to understand that everyone can create content and you also can start yours today yes and it's only if you can let go of the overthinking that you have in your mind, let go of everything about the perfect camera, about the perfect phone, about the perfect lighting. You need to let go of everything. Stop thinking too much and start doing. The more you do, the more you see results. And the more you see results, the more you perfect yourself. And the more you perfect yourself, the more you see that you are growing. Because if you don't do these things, if you don't do them, you can't grow. And you cannot see your prov you cannot see your progress so far. When I started on this channel, I was not even, my voice was not on this channel. I was just showing time-lapse videos and I was just showing tutorials. Then when I hit about 3,000 subscribers, I started talking my videos and up to now my 10,000 subscribers and I'm showing my face. So it's a process, it's a journey which you have to embrace as a creator, which you have to, you have to acknowledge and you have to accept. So if you found this video helpful, just do well to leave a like, do well to subscribe to this channel if you haven't, do well to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And also share this video to other people that you feel might need this video. And to then, I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace out.